In this video, I'm going to talk about soil. So soil is an example of a non-living thing. And remember the last video, we talked about examples of living things, such as plants and animals and, fung and fungi, and how they need to have non-living things, such as water, light, and air, to be able to survive. Now, water makes sense because everything, every living thing is made out of water, and they're needed to dissolve their minerals and chemical reactions. Uh, they also need light, because light is important for plants to grow, for example, and air, because we all need these gases from the air to be able to breathe and um, function. But why would soil be important? Soil seems a bit mysterious, but that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm going to do a case study on the importance of soil for living things. In this first video right here, you're going to see how a worm needs soil to be able to survive. This worm right here is found on this on the actual pavement and it's obviously going to have problems because it doesn't move very fast and if for example a bird were to try to find it it could quite easily find it on the pavement so this is one example down here now play, let's play as well where we actually have a bird that tries to find a worm and it might even be able to catch a worm but if it's in soil it's going to be much better protected than if it's just out on the street with no protection so in here you can see this actual bird looking for a worm and it'll, it'll pick it until it finds something right so we have predators who try to find your actual prey in this case a worm would be a prey so for many different creatures ants and worms and other kind of creatures the actual soil is their home but also their shelter so this is where they live and this is where they have protection from predators so that's one important role of, of soil for living things a home and shelter Another important role for soil is that it dissolves water. So you can hear, you can see quite a bit of mud. The mud would obviously be an example of soil plus water. Now even though this is very watery, even the normal soil, the soil around it that's not full of mud, it's not muddy, even that has lots of water. So soil in general has water and all living things need water to dissolve. So soil provides that. Another really important thing, and I'm going to play a quick video, is that it provides nutrients as well. So in this case you can see there's quite a few ants. So these ants are all around. And ants live in soil mostly. So you can see, hopefully you can see those ants. The reason why they love actual soil is because soil has lots of nutrients. So we've got lots of nutrients in soil because all these dying trees and plants, so these would be examples of dead material, when they decay, they will provide nutrients for uh, anything that's living in soil. So the soil provides lots of nutrients to plants, but also to any insects or animals or bacteria, which is why soil is so full of actual living things. Just to sum up the importance of soils, some of the parts that we covered so far, we said that soil is a very important home and shelter to many living things, such as bacteria. There's actually billions of bacteria in just a tiny gram of soil, but also bigger things such as worms or insects so and even plants obviously so we've got it's a home to many different living things it also supplies nutrients remember soil is basically lots of decaying material decaying means dying material or dead material which will decay and provide nutrients to the new living things that want to grow there also really important is it has lots of water so if we have water rain will dissolve and the water the actual soil will be full of water and that water will be really good for anything that wants to grow and survive within that soil. The last thing I haven't talked about in much detail yet is that it also allows for sun um, to reach anything that needs it. So for example, in this case, I'm just drawing some sun rays. Plants require sun, and because the soil is so far uh, close to the surface on the ground, that is actually really good because it will allow those plants to reach that sunlight and grow from that sunlight. So. It allows us to have a home and shelter for living things, it supplies nutrients, it supplies water, which is important for living things, and it also allows light for plants to grow as well. So those are just some examples of the importance of soils um, to living things in general.